Because, I hate you know, South. I'd I rather play for Kai than yeah. South. You, hang on, you, you hate could, South. You could throw as much money as you wanted me. Oh. I would never play for South. You know I what? I hate them. I call BS on that. <laughs>104,000 screaming at me. Yeah. Um, if you count, you know. Yeah, both heads, yep. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, Brizzy, the Suncorp would be the most hostile okay. for me. I can't believe these two. They both played NRL Fairdinkham. They sound like a couple of old nanas <laughs> having a Milo <laughs> on the lounge. They're so nice to each other. Let me tell you about a hostile crowd. My mob, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, 2006, ANZ Stadium, 25,000 people. The Warriors beat them 66-0, but the Warriors are up like 40 nil at half time. South are giving it to the ref, the people in the borough are giving it to the ref. You cheat, you dog, you mongrel. I go up to the members bar after and one of them says, listen, if it wasn't for that referee, I don't know, mate, <laughs> I just think they've got it in for us Rabbitoh supporters. I really do. But it was like 40 nil at half time. Those Rabbitoh supporters, they would have given it to you two blokes. Nah, Absolutely not. give. Well, I couldn't no, they were not. No, I, 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 I couldn't really South. understand them. Oh. Because, I hate you know. South. I'd rather play for Kai than yeah. South. You, hang on, you, you could, hate South. You could throw as much money as you wanted me. Oh. I would never play for South. You know I what? hate them. I call BS on that. <laughs> I could throw as no much chance. money as no you No way, mate. Nah. I hate them. I, I you, absolutely, I've never liked them. South Sydney Rabbitohs are part of the fabric of this country. Who are you asking onto this show? <laughs> These suburban cr- grounds, please. They are the worst grounds in Sydney. Mate, you're talking about South filling 25,000. The, the stadium about, sits 80,000 so people. So what? There's, there's 25,000 <laughs> people in there, Josh. People. I'm talking about Combank Stadium. I'm talking about places like the one in Wollongong where they're actual good stadiums, the new one that they're about to open up. Yep. These are the places you want to watch football, not bloody Cogra Jubilee or Leichhardt Oval or Brookvale or any of these joints. Or Belmore. Mate, let it go, brother. It's in the past. They were playing there when your father was playing. Just let it go. That's where you get the hostile environments, though. Right. So That's where you so, get so are cold you saying, pie, cold are you pies, saying, warm beer, nowhere to park. Are you That's saying you if, get South, there. if South played at Redfern, you wouldn't go and watch? South wouldn't play in Redfern mate, uh, because they're a progressive so club. It's a hypothetical, play. mate. Uh, if, if, if they played at Redfern Oval, would you go and watch them there? Mate, I'd go and watch them play wherever they played. But I'm saying it's not the preferred choice. You're better off at these new venues. Trent, please back me up here. Yeah, but You're working that... at the new venue, putting in the fire hydrants. Yes, I am currently, so um, saving lives. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but are you talking from a supporter's perspective or a player's? Because no. as a player's perspective, I'm going to disagree and say... Belmore, Redfern, the smaller suburban grounds is a lot more enjoyable playing it than those bigger ones because it feels loaded. You yeah. go to a game and you play, you know, the Storm or the Cowboys against 7,000 at ANZ, it's, there's not much happening. On a, on a Monday night. Yeah. <laughs> suburban grounds, hostile environments, it's in a perverse way enjoyable but just not sometimes when you've been kicked in the back yeah. as a 12-year-old kid. Well. As a 56-year-old man, I have never disagreed with three people more in my life. I'll storm out of this joint. (laughs) We're all New South Wales fans here. Two of you actually played for them, done the business. But out of this year's origin, we're all hurting. And again, it just proves to me that Queensland get origin and New South Wales don't quite get origin. Maroon, you actually going to sit here and agree with me? I, I hate to say it, but I am going to agree with you. And you've seen it more in the last couple of years. New South Wales don't get it. New South Wales don't have the passion. And you know who I blame, Adam? I blame blokes like these two <laughs> who defend it, who defend it, sit there and defend it, um and ah and defending each other. Blokes like you, Josh, getting a free trip up there to Brisbane to watch <laughs> Origin. What have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> we have got to get more passion about us as a state. And learn from Queensland. They just do it better, Origin. <laughs> what have you been smoking? Well, wouldn't you like <laughs> Seriously. to know? Seriously. Well, judging that's on that shirt. Ab- oh, <laughs> anyway. uh, that's absolute. Hey. It is, mate. Come on, mate. Let, 
Oh, mate, I've rarely sh- shook their hands after the game. I hated them. Absolutely hated them with a passion. And to say that we aren't passionate, like I would have, Trent would agree, I would have chopped my legs off to go and play Origin. I would have ran through 10 brick walls. Like we, we were part of a team that, you know, we lost eight in a row. And to say that they had more passion than us is absolute Trent, you're one of the calmest blokes on the face of the earth. Yep. Are you just about to lose your temper? Uh, with our point of view here? <laughs> It may not look like it, but I'm about to, yeah. Right. yeah. Um, no, I, I disagree with you. I think uh, as a New South Welshman, I was lucky enough to go into camp after, you know, quite a dominant, you know, few years by Queensland. The passion was was huge there. I'd never been in a team with more passion. Um, I think that the question gets asked because of the results for the last 15 years. Queensland have won more than New South Wales, so they may get it a bit more. But... New South Wales win this series, we're not having this conversation. Yeah, but if, 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 me aren't, you know what they say, if, if, if. There's no if, mate. They didn't win the series. They lost the series. How do you explain New South Wales? So when we win it next year, yeah, will we still have passion or well, will we not I mean, have the passion? You've got to win it next year first, mate. Yeah. It looked like game three. Before it, it was, yeah, feeling pretty comfortable as a New South Wales fan. And then five minutes in, it's, oh, they've done it again. <laughs> but when you were talking about myself, who played in series losses and then and won one. In terms of the passion, like we were probably more passionate because we wanted it so much. And in that 14 series, we did whatever it took. That was our, our, our catch cry, whatever it takes. We had blokes, Brett, Brett broke his shoulder. We had um, myself, I hurt my knee. Anthony Watmeyer tore his bicep. Bo Scott walked off after the game and collapsed from exhaustion. Like mm. we were willing to do whatever well, why, it took, and that's passion. Why the hell then isn't whatever it takes the New South Wales motto for the rest of time? Hook it on that. That's your 1980 moment. Why wouldn't they feed off that? The New South Wales needs to find well, a way to get there. You agree Eric with more. me and agree with him. I can do what I want. Because I'm off him. You've got to agree with me or him. <laughs> I'm off you permanently, but I agree for five seconds right. here. Right. Yeah, New South Wales, just find a way to get Origin a bit better. Sorry, guys. No offense. Is the style of play a bit stale? I'm pretty happy with it. I think there's some entertaining footy each and every weekend. What do you ex-players reckon? I think it's the game in general is pretty good mm. where there's rules adapting to make sure the game doesn't be- become stale. Um, I think teams can become stale. I think... Um, but that's just bad coaching. Well, that's coaching, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the game's I think the game's fine as, as it is at the moment, J Moss. Well, yeah, I I don't think the game's gone stale. I think the the real changes have been brought in to bring the little man back into the game, mm-hmm. and we've seen that. We've seen the little little fullbacks, the little halves start to come back in and start to dominate. The good teams have been able to adapt and transition to a style where they have structure, but they can play outside of it as well. So that's made the game go to another level. Mm. I don't agree with any of that, boys. You're I a think palooka, but... No, no, of course that's, you don't. Hey, that's my... <laughs> palooka the palooka! You'll be on team. No, uh, I don't agree with any of that. I think apart from that Origin game, which was absolutely epic, the rugby league at club level, it's too, it's too samey. And I'll tell you what, I would know because I call two or three games a week and sometimes I'm calling Newcastle versus the Titans and I'm calling the game and in my head I'm going, all oh, right, I've just got to get home and feed the cat and lock the back door and then I can go upstairs and watch telly. My mind's travelling miles away because these games are so boring. Maroon, this just feels like old man yells at cloud, just complaining for the sake of complaining. I, well. I will agree with him, though. <laughs> I, I don't like it. Whenever don't there's a try it. scored and it, it takes forever to, to confirm the try. Oh, that yeah. is one thing. That's yeah, one thing. And they and put they the six at, points on the board. And they look at everything yeah, and take, take it, it away. away. Two minutes that doesn't make the game stale, though. The no, but I just think the game's gotten too... You know, we work it to here, then we work it to there, then we work it to there. Like, I like to see the little men come back in the game. As you said, the little man is coming back in the game again. Play a little bit of what they call heads up footy. Heads up footy. Eyes up footy. Well, I disagree. Heads up, eyes up. I disagree. Up, eyes up. I disagree. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> no, I like the new rules. I think the rules are good. I think the game is not becoming stale. I think certain teams are becoming stale. I think certain teams are adapting and it comes back to coaching in a way or players playing eyes up footy, playing what's in front of them, having options, not just structure, laying it up for a big play. Let's lay it up. Let's have options both sides. It can't be too bad. Yeah. Well, what, why do you think Sam Walker is such a good player? 
It, yeah. It's not structure that he's playing. He's playing off the cuff mm. footy, and you know he's been taught that heads up, eyes up. He's been taught that yeah. structure yeah. of the Roosters' play, but yeah. he's also been allowed to to play on that play for play and see what he sees. Yeah, not saying that people have to start throwing passes behind their head on the second tackle and everything. You, you, you've got thirteen huge humans out there running at each other. It, it is a game of attritional value as the game goes on. But once that happens, there's heaps of variety. So you don't right? think the game looks a bit stale when one team gets a whole bunch of repeat sets in the opposition 10 and, and they keep turning that ball back to the middle of that big forward well, that, and he gets tackled? Well, that's all part of the game. You've, you've got to try and build well, attrition. Well, that's all part you, of the you game. You try and build the attrition. Got and stale. Then, it hasn't because you're trying to get the, the opposition tired. You're yeah. trying to wear them down so that later in the game, when you play that expansive footy, the gaps are wider. That, the spaces are wider to run into. You score more tries. Yeah, but the, the average fan doesn't know this. Well, that part no, of the I, match may be stale. Yeah. But the game I'll in tell general you what's may becoming not be. stale. You two are becoming very stale. <laughs> this <laughs> argument is becoming very stale. You don't like. You're on the back. I'll tell you what's also That's stale. Why. That shirt. Oh. <laughs> no? Well, I'm happy to say, Maroon, you've got three guys here who are quite comfortable with what they're seeing each weekend, and it's very enjoyable, and one bloke is just not happy with his life full stop. <laughs> you know what? I might have to agree with that. Too. <laughs>